Hello everyone. So I am bringing you the last of the throwback builds today. This one I did, I want to say maybe back in August of 2023. And I don't know why I didn't put it up. I really don't. The only thing I can think of is that there were a couple people who did like thrift store builds and I just kind of thought, you know, I'm going to wait a couple weeks because, you know, I didn't want to be considered as copying. However, I had done this before those I saw those videos, so <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of. And then I just never went back and put this up. So anyway. I decided to do a thrift store here just because I wanted something in this spot. If you watched my last video, it was a cat cafe in this same exact spot, which kind of made me laugh because that was not planned. <laughs> but I wanted something here for another game I was playing. And I decided a thrift store would be fun. Now, I will say in the world that I'm building, I am putting this over by where the vet clinic is in this world. So I am using it. I had put another thrift store build I, I did in that spot. And then I realized I had this one. So you know, change that out. If you want to check out that video, it's linked right up above. I had a lot of fun doing that. That was the first thrift store build I did. And I did it, I think in, univer in the Discover University world. I think that's where I filmed that, but not 100% sure. All right, so my thought with this one was make it blend into the world but make it simple. I didn't want anything real fancy. I wanted it to look like somebody put a thrift store in home. And, or in a home. Not necessarily their home, but a home. And just kind of redesigned the interior so that it was open and able to hold a store. Um, I will say I kind of struggled a little bit with how I wanted this to look on the outside. I do change things here and there quite a bit throughout the build. Really? Okay. Not quite a bit, a little bit throughout the build, just to create a little more interest. And I really like how it all turned out. So I also like this upper area is just decoration for the outside. I didn't do a second story to this build at all. It was just to create some more interest outside of the building. So if you have it in your world, it, you know, isn't boring. <laughs> and yeah, so the inside, I wanted a stage area because the thrift store does require you have a microphone. So I put in a stage area and I kind of figured that out and here's where like I said the outside changes a little bit I put in this wall and decide I don't want that blank area back there so we're gonna say that they removed something that was there or possibly that there was a fireplace there and it caught on fire and they didn't want to replace that section okay I have a backstory I'm sticking to it so anyway, that's why that looks that way. I believe I put some bushes in there for the build. If I didn't, I'll do that before I upload it. But yeah, I wanted to create this like two separate areas to an extent. They're combined. Um, in my other thrift store build, I did separate them. You can walk through uh, to each side inside the building, but I did separate them. So they look like two different buildings, but this one, I wanted it to have the separate eating space, drinking space, 
but I didn't want it closed off really. So I used the bathroom to kind of be that divider spot. And then um, there's tables like right inside those doors. And then the rest of it's kind of the thrift store slash entertainment area. Um, after I did this, I kind of thought about it and went, I probably should have had the stage closer to where you'd sit and eat, but I didn't. Just not how it worked. So I did that in the last build too. The, the microphone is in the thrift store area instead of in the bubble tea shop. So I'm probably due to do another one of these pretty soon. I'm not sure what style I want to do it in. If you have any suggestions as to what style you would like a thrift store slash bubble tea shop to be in, leave a comment down below because... These are kind of fun to build, and I just don't know what I would like to do. The last one I did was kind of like a downtown shop center feel to it, and then this one, of course, you know, cats and dogs, you know, that type of thing. So let me know if you have any ideas for what I could do with that. I might put a poll up eventually when I get closer to actually doing it if nobody comments okay <laughs> all right so here just kind of decorating the bubble tea shop area i wasn't sure if i wanted to use this bubble tea menu or one of the other menus and i decided to go with the bubble tea and i wanted to make this kind of just kind of bright little section with you know lighter coloring or lots of different colors because really the thrift store items aren't really that colorful, at least in the build. So yeah, so I did a little more color over here. I did put in like a seating area by the stage. So that has a little bit of more color. I think we'll find out soon, but yeah, I really, just wanted this to be a casual feeling place oh, not just where like you know high schoolers would hang out but anybody would hang out and i think i pulled that off and that's the only thing that kind of stinks with this lot is i think mentally so many people are like it needs to be a high school hangout and it really doesn't um even though I did notice when I put in like university hangout or something, like it still seems to draw the high schoolers more than other types. So if you've noticed that, it's not just you. All right, so here with the stage area, I put in the little band thing from City Living, um, the microphone that you have to have, and then a guitar. And I did that because at least when you're up there on that stage, if you're playing in this and your sim is a performer, they can make some money doing it. A little bit easier anyway. And I just like the look of it. It adds a little more to that stage. And then here, like I said, just, you know, a couple of little seating areas, trying to make it just something that looks cool. I do kind of wish that we had the option to do this as two separate lots. But again, that's kind of why that first one, I separated them out. So they're, they kind of look like two different buildings that just connected each other. But I, I might do one where they're actually separate. So, you know, on the same lot, but separate. And that's kind of nice. I wish that we could get you know, something like that in general. All right, so we've reached the end of the build and I'm gonna show you a quick look at the inside.
hope you enjoyed this one. Again, if you have any ideas for the kind of style of my next thrift store slash bubble tea shop, let me know in the comments below. I will see you in the next build. Bye.